my uh, battery was no good, so I had to take it to Walmart to, to get it exchanged. What's that noise? What's that clicking sound in the background? I go to Quick Trip uh, to get a grocery sandwich. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I, I really like my my food well done. You know, uh, My grilled cheese, I like it well done. I don't like it all soggy and mushy or whatever. I like it almost like toast, kind of. I tell the broad in the Quick Trip, I said, the grilled cheese sandwich that I just ordered, I want it ran through the oven conveyor belt thing twice. And she says, I can't do that. And I looked at her and I said, I actually, I think you can. Uh, I get it done all the time. I want it ran through twice. And she says, oh, I'm gonna burn it. I said, you're not gonna burn it. And even if you did burn it, I'm still paying for it. I'm the customer. If I wanted you to run it through 10 times, you should do it. It's your job. Needless to say, I got my grilled cheese sandwich and I shared it with the birds. So I'm outside and I'm kind of just waiting for them to test the battery. It ended up not, uh, it ended up being a bad battery. So they gave me a new one that had warranty. And so I'm sitting sharing the grilled cheese sandwich with the, the birds. And uh, I seen some, um, some vatos, right? Uh, they're not, uh, they're probably from Mexico, down south somewhere. And they all got the, um, they got this like, I don't know, maybe it was like a 2017, 2018 Escalade. It had like 20 inch rims, all that bullshit. By the way, I'm so glad that the big rim um, phase is dead. Um, the only people that I see still rolling around with big rims are like people not from this country. I said, I don't, Americans, I think, they, I think they got over it. Maybe they got tired of it. Maybe they got tired of people stealing them. I don't know, but I am glad that, that I don't see that shit really around anymore. So I guess their vehicle's broken down and their hood is up and they're all like standing around like looking in the, the engine. And I'm like, what the fuck are you guys looking at? There's nothing to look at. Like new cars, you can't see anything. Everything is hidden behind a piece of plastic. You know, you can't just grab anything anymore. It was, it's not like an older car where you see the spark plugs, you see the, the hoses, you can kind of see if there's like a break in the hose or you can check the spark plugs to see if there's a, a bad uh, a bad plug or whatever. Everything's hidden. So I'm just wondering, I'm looking at them, I'm saying, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> you guys are looking at like uh, like, an, like an alien technology because that's what I see. I'm not a mechanic, but that's what I see. When I look at new cars with the engines, you don't even need to pop a hood. I don't even know what the hell that is anymore. That looks foreign to me. And that's what exactly what they were looking at. But I'll tell you this. You tell me right now, any race of people on the planet, of all the races, Mexicans, and not the Mexicans from here. No, I'm talking about the ones that were born in Mexico or maybe El Salvador or whatever, but that, just that general area. But let's just say Mexico. They are the only ones I feel uh, of all the times in, in my life and, and all the whatever that I've experienced, they are the only people that if you had car troubles, car problems, they are the most likely to stop and help you. Yeah, nobody else. Black, white, Asian, hell no. No, there ain't nobody helping you. You're, you're on your own. But they, they, I, I, you know, they, they will like give you a jump. Oh yeah, if they got jumper cables, yeah, it don't even matter if they're on their way to work. They will still stop and help you. So I do admire my, my Mexican vatos from down south. Uh, I kind of wish you guys would, would just stop kind of coming here uh, without uh, checking in. You know what I'm saying? But um, it kind of was Mexico first. They do have a point. But then we did kick your asses in the war. So it's like only fair that we took, you know, away what was once yours. So that's kind of a weird story. I don't know. I should do a video about the... Uh, I'm, I might, I might do like a little history video about the uh, about the war, the uh, the Mexican American War, which didn't last very long. Check this shit out. So I just uploaded a video on my other channel, and I never scour my comments on my videos. I'll like look for like the you know like if within the first twenty minutes just to see like if it's getting any views. Like you know, it's, and that channel like the the views on that channel haven't been that hot. It's like been, it's like hot, cold, hot, cold, 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 cold. So I was like looking at the comments. And in part of my video, I had discussed, uh, and I don't get too in depth into history, just because my channel isn't predicated on history. But um, there was a there was a war, right? Um, it's called the Civil War. You know, a lot of people got killed. 
uh, slavery and secession from the Union, all that stuff. So in Texas, uh, it was a, a Confederate uh, uh, republic. It was, Texas was its own. It wasn't a country. I guess it was just the, the Republic of Texas. It was a territory, whatever you want to call it. And as the Union was pushing south, and then there, you know, they took over. Uh, you know, they were taking over uh, Georgia, Alabama, uh, taking over uh, Louisiana, and then you know, Texas is like the last big stronghold, I believe. So they're coming and they're coming, and they sell some boats from New Orleans. And then they were going to, uh, you know, start fighting from Galveston and go up through it. And there's this Battle of Galveston Bay, which basically the, uh, I don't know how many Union boats came to Galveston Bay to, to, to you know, to invade. So long story short, um, that battle was won by the Confederates because it was a miscommunication between a boat that had ran aground and some boats that were out like probably i don't know maybe half a mile or so whatever out out in the uh, ocean so they seen a boat and it was it was they thought that the boat was surrendering so normally in battle i guess if you if one boat back in the days surrenders i guess everyone's gonna surrender and i don't remember in the story if the boat um no the boat was not the main boat um the, the main boat was a, a captain and he was out so the boat ran aground. So they, so the other Union boats thought that, okay, he, they're surrendering. So instead of them surrendering, they said, screw it, uh, they're they're going on. So they went back to New Orleans, and the boat. I forgot this part of the story because I read so much crap. I I, I don't got a, the greatest of memory. But the cap, the guy that was in charge of of the fleet that was coming to attack the Confederates, uh, instead of you know. Back in those days, if you got captured or you were about to get captured, you would disable your equipment. So he blew up his own ship. That way the Confederates couldn't use it. But the blast went off too early, so it killed him. I don't know if it killed other people. I don't know if he told them to, like, you know, evacuate the ship. I don't remember that part of the story. But he blew himself up by accident, so he sank. And so the, the boats left, and I don't believe they... They tried another attack uh, until basically the Civil War ended. So Texas, I, I want to say, was the last stronghold. So this fucking asshole in the comment section says, "Oh, uh, uh, you should really know your Civil War history uh, bef uh, before you try to explain it. Stick to graveyards." Comments like that, I don't even respond to. I just block them. Now, here's the thing: uh, I can take criticism. Uh, I normally don't very rarely respond to comments on that channel. Excuse me, or really this channel, just because you know, I'm going to go back. It's going to take too long going back and forth. If you want to, if you want to get a hold of me, just get on my life. So I just blocked his ass. I could take uh, constructive criticism, like if I don't explain the story, or if I felt like the story, I'm like, yeah, then you know, I, then I'll say like, you know, yeah, you're right. You know, I don't have a problem. But when you got fucking idiots like that, that. The story was a three-minute story. The story was just like that. There's there's nothing much to the story. I forgot to add as I was talking about the story that as the Union were, were, were beating back the Confederates, they went back up to Houston, and I think they grabbed like some some rail gun or something like that uh, on the train, and then they, they, they pushed it down to Galveston to start blasting off the ships. So, I, and I explained that into the story. Like, hey, you should know your Civil War history. Hey, listen, asshole. I'm not a Civil War historian. I'm not a war historian. I'm not a, I'm not a, a history historian. I, I don't do that. Okay, I read the story. I do as much research as I can within the time that I give myself, the allotment of time I give myself to do it. And that's it. If you want to go, uh, if you want to go to a history channel, go to the, uh, the History Underground. That guy... Uh, he has a good history channel. He gets all into that's all his channel is predicated on is history. Fuck off. Yeah, so that comments like that, stupid ass comments like that, that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, see, assholes like that. See, these are guys, they have diabetes and both their legs were amputated, right? So they're sitting around in their wheelchair with their stumps and they're typing on the computer. And, you know, listen, I know I understand some of these people, they're disabled and they, you know, they can't travel. So they kind of watch YouTube and they watch stuff like that just to, uh, just to uh you know experience what it is traveling but but people like that gross idiots like that 
who just want to talk out of their ass for nothing. I don't. I never understood those assholes. Like, dude, it's like if you if you think that you could do it better, go, dude, go get a camera, go take your little uh, SSI check, go to Walmart uh, or go on Amazon, get yourself a decent camera phone or a camera, whatever, and get yourself a gimbal, and you take your fat ass out there and you go hit the damn pavement and you go tell the story better than me, fucking dickwad. All right, I got to go to uh, Whole Foods and get some food to take a block. <laughs>